Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. It's just that simple. I just got off a plane, so pardon my delay in responding to Mark Cuban's disgusting misogynistic remarks. Summer Zervos, Michael Cohen on three levels, just confirmed and denied by the Supreme Court of the United States. I'm licensed in four states. I graduated college in three years. Savage v. Trump. By the way, I could keep going, but those are the cases I win. And your left-wing media and your rhetoric and you're putting women down See, President Trump doesn't do that. He surrounds himself with strong women like me. So Mark Cuban, you can go to hell. But as a woman, I have questions. I, I wanna know, are you big enough, are you man enough to apologize and take responsibility for what you've said? I doubt it. Yeah. The audacity behind that comment, the, the, the hubris behind it, the cavalier quality, how easily it rolled off his tongue, that he could, with a broad brush, afforded a billionaire, a reality TV star, to say to all of those who served in the military, in the administration with Donald Trump, those incredible, strong, intelligent female leaders, the best of us, the treasure, that they are not strong, that they are unintelligent, and to say it with a straight face, thinking it would be applauded, that is garbage. time for lefties losing it and fresh from calling half the country human garbage and then pretending he never said it the leader of the free world president joe biden went back to doing what he does best sniffing babies and uh biting babies now too he's gone from putting his foot in his mouth to putting baby feet in his mouth thing in his mouth multiple times my gosh and he wasn't done yet he spotted another baby Oh, there you go. He's back to sniffing them, back to doing what he's most comfortable with. Uh, just totally normal behaviour. Meanwhile, the Veep, the woman who wants to be leader of the free world, is out there 
spewing the most outrageous lies. Here she is in Pennsylvania earlier today. And look, Donald Trump's not done. He would ban abortion nationwide. Yes, even here in Pennsylvania, if he were successful. He would restrict access to birth control, put IVF treatments at risk, and force states to monitor women's pregnancies. Lies, 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 lies. Uh, and she lies with the comfort of knowing the bulk of the media will let her get away with it. Meanwhile, Trump is turning Biden's comments and the Democrats' hysteria into another iconic campaign moment. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. He then answered questions from the truck. Uh, it was a press conference, more robust press conference than Kamala faces. And then he said this to a rally at Wisconsin today. 250 million Americans are not garbage. Let's do more lefties losing it with my next guest, Sky News contributor Kosha Gaida. Kosha, let's have a look at some of the absurd lengths the media has gone to in order to excuse or try to cover up Joe Biden's comments calling half the country garbage. Here is CNN blaming a stutter. Joe Biden has never been a big arena speaker. He's never been the most fluid speaker. And by the way, as someone who had a stutter growing up, it's very obvious to me that there's an apostrophe at the end of supporters there. He was referring to the garbage spewed by supporters, not simply the supporters themselves. Uh, it was a stutter. He's not good with words, really. And not to be outdone, we had this from the ladies of The View. Here is Whoopi Goldberg who seems to be in a permanent state of hysteria nowadays. I don't understand why all the pearl clutching over Biden's statement, why they all have a problem with what Biden said, mm -hmm. when what this other guy has said... J.D. Vance? No. Oh, the, oh, I'm going to... Oh, the comedian. No, no, I'm just no, going to... No, I'm going to watch the clip. The man whose name she okay. Watch like the clip. Like a garbage can. You know, it's the first time I've ever said that. <laughs> We're like a, a garbage can. We're like a garbage can. It's like we're a giant garbage can. Yeah. So he's, he's talking, talking about the country. The country. The entire yeah. garbage American population. Can. He's talking about the country, the entire population. That's what they're claiming, kosher. Wasn't he talking about the fact that unchecked illegal immigration has seen thousands of criminals flood the country and treat the country like a garbage can? Isn't that kind of a fairly important context to add there? Absolutely, but honestly, with the ladies of The View, I don't know if they genuinely understood that or don't understand it, but the American people understand it. This is why immigration is a top two issue, and everybody sees the numbers, everybody sees the very tragic, sad anecdotes, and everybody knows what it means. The mental gymnastics that they and the other guy on CNN are going through to try and describe this is really, it's funny, I think, because of what happened 48 hours before, where they were making a big deal out of trash, and then literally the, the same But Kamala's thing come out and disowned it now. She's, now. I think, realised no amount of media cover is going to limit to the work. damage. Yep. So she's distanced herself. Is Joe Biden doing this on purpose? Is he trying to hurt the Harris campaign? This is a question. Who knows what's in his mind? You know, it could be sabotage. It could be letting the mask slip which is what the other side is making hay of. You know, we, we started with the basket of deplorables, which was an inflection point in Hillary's campaign to fascists and garbage. And maybe there is some real belief there as well. Well, this is what uh, I just don't understand, how anybody could question that this is how Democrats and the left see Republicans, see Trump supporters, because we just heard days of them characterising people who attended the rally at Madison Square Garden as being fascist, being supporting some sort of a Nazi rally. So if you think people are Nazis and fascists and white supremacists, well, of course you think they're garbage if that's where your world view. Yeah. Uh, and I think this is why they're having such trouble hiding this or trying to uh, yeah. spin it. They put themselves in a box because they want to say that he's Hitlerian and fascist, but then simultaneously say his supporters aren't. I think Brett Baer had asked Kamala specifically, like, oh, why are millions, tens of millions of people supporting him? Do you think they're stupid? And she didn't take that bait. She said, no, no, I would never say that about American people. And now she's in a box where she has to admit it.